Jill has applied for a job with each of two different companies. What's the probability that she will get job offers from both companies? So three things can happen in this situation. She can get a job offer from both, so the probability of both. Or it could be she only gets a job offer from one of them, so probability of one offer. And then the what's the other thing that might happen? She might not, not she might not get any offers. And of course, if you sum up all your probabilities for a particular experiment, it always has to be one. So let's look at clue one. Clue one says a probability that she will get a job offer from neither company. So that's a probability of none is 0.3. That doesn't help us. Because we're trying to figure out what, what's the probability she will get a job. We're trying to figure out this probability from both of them. Now forget clue one and let's look at clue two. The probability that she will get a job offer from exactly one, so probability of one offer is 0.5. So I could plug in a 0.5 here, but I don't know about both or none, so I can't solve it. So one didn't work independently, neither did two, so let's put both of them together. So you got the problem, well, can you see it? You could stop right now and say C is the answer. Probability of both plus probability of one offer is 0.5 plus probability of none is 0.3 equals one, and you could solve for that, you'd have the answer. So the answer is C.